Hey everybody, I'm Angela and let's begin. Okay, so let's start off on uh, your yoga mat. Okay, and sit cross-legged if you can. Uh, you can also prop yourself up if you need to, um, or just make sure that you're comfortable and uh, just be mindful of any, uh, addressing, let's see, what, what am I trying to say? Uh, obviously, we want to challenge ourselves, but we're not looking to be in any pain. So always skip anything that moves into that space of uh, pain, okay? All right, so let's begin. Sit up tall. Sit up straight as you can. Relax your shoulders. Relax your jaw, tongue, face. Take a couple deep breaths in and exhale out. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Good. And so we'll keep breathing, ideally in and out through the nose um, for the time being now, um, as much as possible, okay? In and out. Yeah, feel free to close your eyes if you'd like to. I'm gonna place my right hand alongside my hip, reach your left hand up high, and reach to the opposite side of the room. So now to the right side of the room. And press your left seat bone down into the ground and mindful that the hand that's on the floor isn't pushing you away from the ground. Rather, it's just a support so you don't topple over. So wherever you need to place the hand. And as you expand, expand even beyond the fingertips moving down through the arm, feel your elbow pull the shoulder and the shoulder pull up and over, spreading the rib cage. Turn your head, your face up towards your, the ceiling if you can. And take a deep breath into your right lung. Feel it expand. And exhale, drop the seat bone back down if you need to. Breathe in. Really stretch through the entire arm. And exhale out. One more time here, mindful of the hand on the floor is just a gentle support. Breathe in and breathe out. And then we'll lower this hand back down. Okay, and then place it alongside your left hip. Reach your right hand up high. Reach up towards the ceiling. Again, stretching beyond. So moving down the entire arm from the wrist, to the elbow to the shoulder. Start to reach over to the opposite side of the room. So your left side, uh, right seat bone down. Turn so your chest is facing closer to the ceiling rather than to the floor, right? So we're looking for an expansion, right? And on the floor is light, just support. Breathe into your right lung. Exhale out. Breathe in. Stretch through the shoulder even, breathe out. Good, inhale. Oh, and exhale, I could stay there longer. <laughs> Good, and then we're going to interlace the fingers above your head, turn so that the palms face the ceiling and stretch up again. Press the palms up towards the ceiling and then move into the wrist, move into the elbows, move into the shoulders and lift up through the waist. Inhale and exhale. Some of you might even arc back just a half an inch or so. Breathe in. Mm, and breathe out. Inhale and exhale. Again, as much as possible, breathe in and out uh, through the nose, okay? 
and let's meet in downward facing dog okay so um take this inverted v in the body okay and you might shift a little bit in your in your body here um just kind of adjust if this is your first time doing downward facing dog you know maybe watch this video a couple times you know maybe even five times to get an idea of what the terms are what they look like you might even experiment see what they feel like in your body if you've done this before you might just start to move around and it, see where your downward dog is today knowing that every day is different what you did yesterday how you slept how your day's been so far all can have an impact on where you're at in something familiar okay once you've settled maybe even moved your head around a little bit you know lift up the heels some um, begin to work towards that place of just a stable downward facing dog so gaze back through the shins you know uh, right there maybe even just look at your toes or some of you might even turn your gaze up towards your navel okay it's ideal to have the head down and looking towards the feet or even past them rather than at your hands. So if you see your hands, turn your gaze towards your toes. Open up through the shoulders. And even feel your head drop down some. And your mind might start to empty out any unnecessary thoughts of anything that's beyond this moment that you're, this time that you're giving to yourself, okay? Breathe in. And breathe out. Okay, so from here, let's lift the left leg up high. Okay, press through the heel and then bend the leg okay yeah and now as i bend the leg i'm pushing the heel to the side of the room and pressing my knee towards the wall it's facing feel like that strip th through the hip if this hurts your back and i'll just skip this stay in your downward facing dog or just keep the leg up straight okay mm -hmm. breathe in breathe out one more time right here, both palms flat on the ground, fingertips light. Inhale, yeah, and exhale. Okay, let's switch sides. Again, if this causes any sort of pain, you just skip it, okay? There's, an, it's, there's nothing, if you're gonna, <laughs> dare I say, it's only wrong if you're moving into the pain and stay there, okay? Dare I say that, okay? So the leg is either straight, pressed to the heel, or you can bend this leg, press through the heel, but also through the knee. Again, the knee is pressing towards the wall it's facing. Feel the stretch through the hip, even the waist. Gaze back at the foot that's on the ground, even past it. Mm -hmm. Inhale. And exhale, let's straighten the legs, set the foot down. Okay, walk your hands towards your feet. And just keep the head hanging down. Good. Continue to breathe. You might grab opposite elbow with opposite hand. Just to increase the uh, stretch in the body. And I guess the a great impact you can have here is just putting blood into the brain. shake out any unnecessary thoughts fully gather in all your attention into this moment into this time again good you can release your hands to the ground if you haven't already good All right, walk your hands back out to that downward facing dog. OK, 
Okay, just make some adjustments. You might move your feet a little bit, your hands until you feel comfortable and settled. Good. Lift your right leg up high, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, step your foot to your hands, right between the thumbs. Good, inhale up into a crescent lunge and hold here just a moment. So crescent lunge, ideally your back foot, back heel rather, is off the ground. Okay, mindful that the lunge where the knee never goes past the heel. Okay, so you can see right here that the leg is straight and you can even have a straighter leg, less bend in the knee is better than over the knee over the heel like that, okay? Good. Continue to breathe and then when you're ready, hands up in the air, okay? If you have a lot of stress and this hurts your neck or shoulders, hands could go to the hips. Good. Nice. Come gaze straight ahead. Keep breathing. Back leg straight. Nice. So let's place your hands back down on the ground. Okay, so the foot is right between the thumbs. Good. Step your back foot forward. Lift up into a halfway lift. Hands can go to the shin. Your back is flat. And then fold forward as you exhale. Now we're going to stand up, hands over the head, breathe in. Good. And exhale, hands come down alongside the body. Good. Inhale, hands up over the head. Exhale, fold forward. Navel pulls back towards your spine. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands can go to the shin for flat back, or they can stay on the ground. Good, and then exhale, step your right foot back. Okay, come up into that crescent lunge. So your left leg is forward, your right leg is back. If you have a deep bend in the back leg, go ahead and work to straighten it, press through the heel. And again, mindful that this knee would ever goes past the front heel here. Good, a goofy angle of my camera today. I <laughs> hope this works out okay for you. All right, so we hold here for just a moment, soft toes in front, soft gaze ahead. Continue to breathe. Nice. Steady as you can, breathing in and out through the nose. Wonderful. Breathe in. And breathe out. Soft shoulders, strong arms. Breathe in and breathe out. Hands come down to the floor, Hand, uh, foot is between the hands. Step your back foot forward, inhale for a halfway lift. Hands to the ground or hands to the shin. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, hands over the head, come up to standing, strong back. Exhale, hands come down alongside your body. Good. Breathe in. And breathe out. Okay, so what I'm thinking here, I'm going to just adjust this a little bit. Let's move and then let's just keep moving, okay? Instead of pausing, let's move through that little sequence. Um, kind of wake you up. <laughs> Okay, so feet about hip width distance apart. Inhale, hands up over the head. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Hands come down, right ste foot steps back. Inhale up into a crescent lunge. Good, exhale, hands come down to the floor. Inhale, the right leg forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Good. 
Inhale, rise up, Tadasana hands up over your head. Exhale, arms come down alongside your body. Inhale, hands up over your head. Exhale, fold forward, navel pulls back. Inhale, halfway lift, strong back, strong core. Exhale, step your left foot full back. Excuse me. Inhale, hands up over your head, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands come down, foot between the hands. Good, inhale, step the back foot forward, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, hands up over the head. Standing up tall. Exhale, arms come down. Inhale, hands up over your head. Breathe in deep. Exhale, fold forward. Navel pulls back to the spine. Perfect. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, <laughs> left foot steps back. I don't remember, but we'll make sure to do both. <laughs> Inhale, hands up for your head, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands come down, foot between the hands. Inhale, step your back foot forward. Exhale, fold forward. So sorry. Inhale up to Tadasana, and the hands up over your head. <laughs> Exhale, arms come down. Good, inhale, hands up over your head. Exhale, come on down, fold forward, strong core. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your right foot back. Inhale, up to standing, hands over your head. <laughs> I don't know if I did that right. Exhale, hands come down foot between the hands. Inhale, step the back foot forward. Exhale, fold forward. Okay. Hands down to the ground, head towards the ground. And let's find downward facing dog. Good. So if you watch this video more than once, obviously you can uh, switch around with the legs as long as you do each side evenly right uh, okay let's gaze up at the hands step your feet towards them halfway lift through the back through the core exhale fold forward now let's drop into chair pose so the bottom comes down okay you can have your hands to your heart okay or you can have your arms up okay Breathe. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Nice. So sit down a little bit more. Keep breathing. Shoulders relaxed. Steady gaze straight ahead. Yeah. Continue to breathe. Nice, remember hands can be at the heart at any time your shoulders feel strained. Awesome. Sit down a little bit more. And now let's move dynamically. Inhale, lift your hands up a little bit higher, slight arch in the back. Exhale, just move the arms down till the hands come down alongside the feet. Inhale. Reach the hands up. Exhale, hands come down. Strong core, so really pull the navel back towards your spine. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, hands come down. Hips come down. Good. Inhale, hands go up. Exhale, hands come down. Five more times. Keep the hips down as much as you can. Inhale, hands up over your head. Exhale, good. Hands come down. One up. Exhale down, is it three? Okay, inhale, hands up. Four. Come down. Last one. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, hands come down. 
Inhale, come to standing, hands up over your head. Exhale, arms come down alongside your body. Perfect. Good. I'm going to turn and face you. Open your feet out wide from one another. Good. Look down and make sure that your feet are parallel rather than pigeon-toed or even facing out. So, like train tracks, right? That's the way I was taught. <laughs> train tracks. Arms out. Inhale, lift up through the heart, keeping the chin neutral. Exhale, left hand to right foot. Good, inhale, come up to standing. Exhale, right hand to left foot. You can bend the left leg a little if you'd like. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, left hand, right foot. Good, inhale, back up to standing. Good, and exhale, right hand to left foot. Wonderful, inhale, come up to standing, arms out. Next time we'll stay, left hand, right foot. This leg can be bent if you need to. Straighten it if you'd like. If the hand doesn't actually go to the outside of the foot, it can be here to the big toe side. Or if you'd like, the palm is down, fingers are facing the opposite direction of the toes. Okay, your right arm is in the air if possible. It can be on your sacrum if you need to. Yeah. If the hand is up in the air and it's passable, reach the hand over the head, the palm is down, breathe in. And then exhale, move the hand back, palm faces towards the ceiling. Good, inhale the hand over the head, palm is down. Exhale, reach back. Good, inhale the hand over your head. Exhale, work the hand back. And again, this hand can go right to the sacrum, or you can grab your left thigh or towards it. Breathe. Nice. Pull the right shoulder out of the ear. And again, the hand that's on the floor, mindful that it's not pushing away, rather the palm is pressing, but there's no jar. Uh, jarring action in the shoulder. Yeah. Good. Let's come up to standing, arms extend out to the side, and then lower them alongside your body. Take a moment here and feel how the body feels. I'm just going to adjust my ear here. It's kind of hot, humid where I live today. I love that though. I love hot, hot, hot. I do, I do. Yeah. But my hair will turn into a bigger frizz ball than it is right now. <laughs> and nobody needs to record that forever. And that is a recording. Okay, arms out. Breathe in, back to you. Exhale, right hand towards the left foot. So I'm gonna show some modifications. You know, you might be up on a yoga block or a book or a can of soup, or, you know. Um, if it's possible, however, the palm is down, flat, fingertips face in opposite direction of the toes and, um, and your hand is on the pinky toe side edge of your foot. Okay, your left hand is up in the air. You're looking up if possible, looking down if you need to. And that dynamic move it, movement with the arm, hand over the head, breathe in. Exhale, hand reaches back. Inhale the hand over your head. Exhale, it reaches back. One more time, breathe in, hand over the head. Exhale, reach back, twist at the waist. And again, the hand can land on the sacrum or you can grab your thigh. Your left knee can be bent if it needs to be. Again, you can be up, the hand doesn't have to touch the ground if it doesn't. 
Left shoulder pulls out of the ear, gaze up if you can. In and out through the nose, breathe in and breathe out. Nice. Steady gaze in one spot. Wonderful. Breathe in and breathe out. Super, let's come up to standing, extend the arms out and exhale the arms down. And just take a moment here. Good. Good, now let's come down to the floor. Okay, and so we're on our hands and knees. Okay. Palms are flat, fingertips facing straight ahead towards the top of your mat. When possible, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, and find a plank pose. Continue to breathe, and at any time you need to, drop to your knees. But here's a, a, a suggestion if you want to listen is to allow yourself to shake and only drop to your knees if you must. Okay, notice if the hips go up a little bit too high and you'll make that adjustment so there's more of a neutral plank, straight body. Strong core, so um, every time you exhale, you it's like you pull your tummy towards your back. On every exhale, the tummy towards the back. Okay. Remember, you can drop to your knees if you need to. We're here for a few more seconds. You can do it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Slowly come down to your tummy. Good. Hands alongside um, your chest. If you feel your elbows going out, pull your elbows back towards the body, towards the rib cage. Start with your chin down on the ground. Hmm. Tops of the toes on the ground. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, lower the chest down. Maybe the chin touches your mat. Inhale, lift the chest up, shoulders down, pull back, gaze down, yeah. Exhale, come down. So you're either looking down or straight ahead. When you lift up, breathe in. But let's not do this cranking the neck, okay? <laughs> Exhale, come down. Inhale, come on up. So this work is through this part of the spine, we're keeping our neck safe. Stay up now, breathe in. So I'll meet up here. Just a light support of the hands on the floor, but keep them on the floor. Breathe, keep your knees down. Yeah, keep your knees down. You'll see that your back has to work a little bit harder. This is where you get, uh, build some strength in your back. Super. Inhale. Come up a little bit higher. Exhale. Come up more. Breathe. You're here for five, four, three, Two, lower down, listen. Now push back into child's pose. So press through the palms. Move your hips back towards your heels. If they touch, great. If they don't, that's fine. If that hurts your knees, put a pillow underneath your bum and stay. So you can have your hands out, head down. Wonderful. 
Breathe in and breathe out. Okay. Settle close to the floor, close to your mat. All right, let's move into half pigeon. So we'll start with the right leg forward. So move your knee up towards the top of your mat as well as the foot, okay? And the back leg is straight, okay? I'll show a modification um, if this hurts your knees at all. But for those of you staying in this position, and once you adjust and your foot is out as much far as it'll go today, and we're not leaning too far over onto the right hip, okay? So come on up so this thigh is facing closer to the floor. You can fold down and rest in a comfortable way for you. The modification for those of you taking it is to come to your back and the right foot goes on, the left knee, the left leg is bent, the foot is on the floor, and then you lift the foot up off the floor, interlace your fingers behind the leg, behind the knee, and then you can pull and get this nice stretch through the right heel here. Yeah. If you check out my other videos, I'm certain we've done that before. Good. So you'll come down. <sighs> if you're distracted at all in any any thinking, uh, just um, maybe start to acknowledge and address what you feel and uh, where your body rests on the floor. Like I'd say to myself, I feel my knee touching the floor. I feel my foot touching the floor. I feel my head and my arm on my arm. Let's see if that helps. And those of you who'd like to take the next few um, seconds um, in a slightly uh, deeper stretch, or I shouldn't say slightly deeper stretch, or deeper stretch, right? Well, come on, come on up with the help of your hands, your arms, and then reach back and as you bend the back leg and pull that leg towards you. This could go, I'm not sure if my body's going to do it today. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. Okay, I have so much lotion on my arm, my foot is slipping, so I'm just going to stay here to be safe, okay? <laughs> you know me, love the soft skin, so. Anyway, I can do, I can put a link of my favorite lotion. It's not even all that spendy. It's just out of all the lotions I've tried, it's my favorite. A daily Epsom salt bath doesn't hurt either. And lots of water happens to be 
a nettle lemon water with a tiny bit of honey. Good for cleansing organs. All right, so wherever you are, come on out. And I don't know about you, but I kind of like moving into downward facing dog for a moment just to um, stay connected to the ground while still adjusting my body out of a long hole. So whatever you need to do, just keep your movements gentle, non-jerking, and when you're ready, let's move into the other side. So take that modification on your back. Remember, it's the left leg now that's bent, and the right foot is on the floor with the knee on the, towards the ceiling, and then you pull that knee towards your body with the help of your hands. Okay, those of you up in half pigeon here, if you're leaning far over, just lift that bottom up. <laughs> yeah. And when you're ready to walk your hands down. Breathe. Again, um, if you feel your mind wandering off, just come into use. You allow your senses. That's you know the helpful part is allow your senses to help you come into the moment you're in. So feeling where you are, the sense of touch. Feel your breathing, close your eyes if you're comfortable doing that. So holding uh, the position that you're in is wonderful. And if you're taking uh, the next and final position in half pigeon, we bend this back leg, push up, chest off the ground with the help of your hands and your arms. And then we reach back with the help with the right hand, right? And I am a little slippery. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, yeah, it's going to slip, so it's going to wreck my back if I do that, but I can always take this hand that's in front and reach over, okay? But I see that foot's going to slip, and that's not going to be pretty. I get calls all the time about doing these videos, and if you had asked me I'd be doing them at all, I would have told you. You were crazy, say, six months ago. <laughs> but I was asked to, and it was helpful to work through the nerves, still is. What I am challenged with is not being able to see you directly. As a yoga teacher, that was always how I taught. I would change an idea for a class on the turn of a dime just based on the energy of the room sometimes. I don't get a chance to do that here on film. Okay, so let's come on out, however, wherever you're at. You can find that downward facing dog if you'd like, or just keep your movements nice and slow and easy if you're moving at all. And then let's meet on our backs, okay? 
Um, so, like I was saying with the videos, um, you know, if you ever want to set up, if you'd like to meet live, um, I'd love to do that. Um, let me know in the comments down below or when you check out the description box, you know, that great, great triangle, you can see my emails there. You can email me and say, hey, I'd love to do a live class with you. That might be helpful. It's like my people, I could see you be inspired by you directly doing this for you inspires me anyway so on your back but feet about hip width distance apart probably one of my favorite moves is the dynamic bridge i don't know if i've made more than one or two videos without it <laughs> okay so arms down alongside the body palms down Gaze towards the ceiling, keep the chin neutral. Inhale the hands up over the head, lift the hips up towards the ceiling. And exhale, lower the hips down, move the arms down. So you're trying to go down one vertebrae at a time, yeah. And I'll just keep doing that a few more times. Breathe in, lift the hips up. Gaze neutral over the heels, hands over the head, palms up. Or I like the palms facing one another sometimes. And then exhale, work the arms down, hips down, nice and slow. Okay, at your own pace, you're breathing in as you lift up, hands over the head, push the hips up, pelvis up a little bit higher, exhale, come down. One more time, dynamic movement. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, arms come down. The next move is just the hips, okay? So inhale, the hips up, arms stay down, yeah. Okay, so if the chin is jarred into your chest, you're lifting up. Go ahead and make that adjustment. You can support your hand, hips with your hands or interlace the fingers underneath you, work your shoulder blades even closer, palms in. When you're ready, gaze towards the ceiling or even close your eyes. I know you can't see it from where you are, but you know, we've all seen, or hopefully we've all seen baby birds in a nest, even just eggs, but I've been given this great gift of the baby birds have been taught to fly, but they haven't moved out of the nest yet. <laughs> so I have all these little cutie pies <laughs> flying around. There's a deck above my deck. And they go from their nest to the light on the patio, and then they go to the beam. I forget what they're called. My girlfriend texted me what they were, but they're these birds with just their head, a normal part of their body is red, but not a cardinal. And the boys obviously are brighter than, in color than the girls. Stinking cute. And they talk all chatter, tweeting to each other the whole time. Like kids. So excited. Imagine what that feeling is like learning to fly. All right, release your hands. Lower your hips. I rambled on about baby birds there. Won't that won't bother you too much? Pull your knees in towards your chest. Okay, a couple options here. You can keep your knees in close. Okay. And then we can drop our knees over to the left side or one side. Some of you might prefer legs straight, so 
you would lengthen the left leg on the floor, reach the right leg up, and then move that leg across the body. Okay. And some of you may take the left hand to the right foot and then stretch that way. Whatever position you're taking, both shoulders close to the ground. So my right shoulder sometimes peels up a little bit and I just set it back down. Breathe. If you'd like, you could turn your head in the opposite direction. So in this position, it's your right leg that's over. Look towards your right shoulder. And then bend the leg. Well, come on up. We'll meet back with the knees together, back fully on the ground. Okay. And again, you can have your arms out, shoulders down is most ideal. And then the knees go over to your right side. Again, those of you taking the other position, the right leg out, left leg straight and goes over. Right. And if you Want to, you can hold that foot. Yeah. Ooh. Cracky. Well, if you've ever taken the opportunity to find out your doshas, so there's three. You know, it's a good idea always to know oneself, right? Doshas, um, so vada, pitta, kapha. And uh, you can take a test. And I used to recommend one on the Deepak Chopra site, so I assume it's still there. I'm sure he has, still provides one. I think it's only maybe 16 questions, too, real quick and easy. You can have someone diagnose you as an Ayurvedic specialist. She told me I was a pitta vada, but. Hmm. Pretty sure I'm a bada pitta. And I say that because of all that cracking. And tendency to get stuck in my head too. <laughs> Thank God for yoga. Good, and we'll come on out. Just come out nice and gentle, nice and slow. And let's meet up in legs up in the wall just to get, neutralize our position here. So anytime we do one side and then the other, we meet in a position that's central and neutral to the body. At least I do. Some of you can lift the hips up a little. Still keep a bit of an angle on my little angle here. Okay, so rather than sticking up so you're on your neck, that's not awesome. And you can, if you'd like, as I like to, put the feet up over the head so our audible might change a little bit or audio. Um, your buds seem to be going out. I tried to time that accurately, but I went a little long, I guess.
but that's okay because we're going to be moving into Shavasana, so take your time. And make your way down onto your back. Legs out long, arms out long. And when you're ready, just rock your head a little left to right until you can find a nice, comfortable, neutral position to take Shavasana, this resting pose. At all, we're, look at the screen, you might see me getting up. That's just me checking the audio, but you stay where you are. Settle in. Move into a deeper rest. Allow gravity to pull you in closer to the ground and to the earth that you're resting on. Feel its complete and utter support. Remove any of the tiniest tension you may have in the tongue or the jaw. And allow this silence allow you to find deeper stillness and peace. If you'd like to stay in Shavasana longer, you can just let this video run out or pause if you'd like. Otherwise, if you're looking to be guided out, go ahead and begin with some soft and gentle movements uh, through your fingers and your toes. Open your mouth, stick out your tongue, move your jaw around. Rock your head side to side. And then roll over onto one side. 
can even lift the arm up over your head so you can rest your head in your arm if you'd like. And then push yourself up using the help of your hands and arms and come to a seated position. Just as we did in the very beginning, I believe close to that. And we'll sit up straight, sit up tall, chin neutral. And then bring your hands to your heart, palms together. Lower the chin now just a bit, eyes closed. Take a moment here to harness the peace and tranquility you cultivated in this yoga practice, especially through the Shavasana that came at the end of deliberate and conscious movement. Remaining conscious in your future movements throughout your day. Namaste. All right, thank you so much for coming here. Um, be sure to subscribe. I put on about three basic um, types of content. So utilize the playlist to watch the content that you most wish to see. Um, in the description box below over here, you can just drop that down using that gray triangle. I will put um, some of those soft skin solutions for those of you that wish to um see what those are um i also remember the body oil i used also so I'll, I'll remember to put everything down there um it was one of the very first things i started to address when i found um a, a solid yoga practice was uh the beginning of uh self-care okay anyway um can make all the difference if your skin your largest organ feels awesome right um also if you are looking for some live classes or we can meet um we don't even need to actually post those out in the ethers um i can just recreate that on my own um might be real helpful i was a very different teacher when i talked in a room of people than i am here in the video uh, maybe the voice sounds the same and i can sometimes ramble on about something <laughs> Um, but other than that, um, I do miss the connection of uh, seeing where everybody's at, having a brief discussion, and then allowing that to be the inspiration to uh, what I'm uh, humbly allowed to offer. Okay, so let me know that in the comments or use that email address that's there. And those of you looking to support this channel for more content, those links are down there as well. I know that that's been requested. Um, and I thank you all who have, okay? Till next time, take care. And take care of yourself. <laughs>